Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between full load and incremental load? What is your approach to load data into staging database? So first of all, this question can be broken into two parts. One, what is the difference between full load and incremental load? Full load, when we truncate or delete the entire data from uh, all the tables or some of the tables where we want to do the full load and bring the everything from our source that can be flat files that can be OLTP or that can be any other source we are using to load the data so we are truncating cleaning the entire tables and then loading the entire data set from the source in the incremental we only bring the changes let's say till yesterday I, I loaded everything till yesterday and now moving forward what I want to do I want to load only the newly inserted records and if there are records some columns value has changed so I want to uh, update and if there are some records they are deleted from the source I want to delete them as well from in the destination so in the incremental we will be only bringing the change records new uh, old and updated and uh, if we want to delete then those one so major difference uh, in the full load we can truncate or delete the destination tables and load them entirely but in the incremental uh, we will not be deleting the entire table or truncating the entire table and uh, loading them uh, from the source we will be only bringing the chain data or the new data whatever it is now what's your approach to load data into staging database so staging database is a database where we load the data uh, from our different sources and then we will uh, from staging we will take that data implement the transformations and load the data to the final destinations why we use the staging database because data is coming in different formats we first load in the in this database uh, so we can uh, clean the data and then uh, we can Im Im implement uh, the incremental load approach if uh, we are reading the data from the flat files think about that and we don't have a staging database so what we are doing uh, we are reading uh, the entire data from from a flat file and then uh, we are removing some duplicates uh, and uh, making some data type changes and everything and then there are tons of them we need to update in the destination so what we will do so we will perform OLADB command transformation to update those records or delete those records from that table in that, that case that will make it really slow as OLADB command transformation is going to run a SQL statement for each of the um, row in those cases uh, we would not have any record really in the staging database uh, to perform anything so if we would not have a staging database there is no table but if we load the data from a flat file into the staging then we can use merge or tsql set base uh, queries uh, to perform our update or delete operations uh, between our um, destination and staging uh, table so that, that's one, one reason also you are reading from multiple sources uh, you want to load the data into staging and from that staging you can uh, load the data to different uh, destinations as well so that's uh, pretty much it we, 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 we would not uh, do the incremental load in the staging area that's where the stage we will do the full we will truncate the tables we will not even delete them we will not have the constraints uh, and all those uh, other primary key and foreign key and um, uh, indexes uh, on this stage and uh, database tables we will just uh, have them on um, heap tables uh, no indexes uh, and we will not have any constraints uh, so just dump the data here and then uh, we can take that data and uh, load into destination and apply all those business uh, rules one thing uh, about the staging databases uh, they they are important and especially when i, I was telling you there are blocking uh, transformations uh, or uh, there are semi blocking transformations uh, there are aggregate there is sort there is a um, oladb command transformation uh, these transformations are really expensive transformations uh, and if you want to avoid them the only thing you have it 
you have to have the data into the table so you can apply set based uh, queries uh, between two um, tables so you read the data from source dump into the staging and uh, wherever you can uh, uh, cannot uh, perform uh, um, best uh, in SSIS uh, so you can write your store procedure between the uh, staging database and your destination and use the merge or T-SQL set based queries uh, to perform those operations thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I will see you next